a little nervous, so please bear with me. Um, she has the most soothing voice. If she says, oh, darling, you just knew that you were okay. <laughs> and at the same time, if you did something wrong and you got that look, oh. <laughs> <laughs> she, I mean, and she would threaten you, but she wouldn't threaten you with too many words. She would say, now nah, look. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you knew. You had to be on your toes to be in trouble. Yeah, well, my grandmother, she had a PTL Bible, and uh, just like this one, and she really, really, she used this Bible to read and do other things, and I'm going to tell about, talk about the other things you did with it. Uh -huh. um, I was at my grandmother's house one day, I'll try to be quick, uh -huh. and I was having a little attack, a little anxiety attack, a little asthma attack, and I was trying to calm down. My grandmother, she was sick that day, she was in her room, she was laying down, and, um, you know, so I tried to be quiet, you know, try not to make any noise, try not to disturb her, I didn't want her worrying about me, because she loved me, so she worried about me. <laughs> so, um, I'm so, I'm so, so I'm sitting there breathing and I'm calming down and I'm just breathing and my wife's on the phone she's saying, breathe, just calm, stay calm, stay calm. And I said, okay, I think I'm getting better. I think I'm almost done. Then out of nowhere I hear, cleave the blood of Jesus! <laughs> I jump up and I look at my mother. My mother, who's sitting right here, comes at me with a bottle of olive oil. <laughs> and I know when you get anointed, then you know you take a little bit, put it on your fingers, and you rub it on your forehead. She poured the whole bottle of olive oil in my face. And slapped it in my face. I mean, it was in my mouth, it was in my eyes, it was up my nose. And, uh, you know, at this point, you know, it was just, I was calming down from a tap, but now I'm choking. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm. Now, this was just a couple of weeks ago, so Grandma really wasn't feeling well. So my mother was praying for me, and I'm like, okay, just try to calm down, make it quiet. But calm down, and then all of a sudden I hear, William, you better bleed the blood of Jesus right now. <laughs> so I said, okay, um, I, 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 I'm still choking on the blood. All of a sudden, I see this red Bible come up in the air and... <laughs> I looked up and Grandma, Grandma, as short as she was, was standing there just like this. You better bleed the blood. <laughs> I'm sitting here, thinking I'm concussed now. And she raised the Bible up again. And I ducked. <laughs> so, she passes the Bible to Jocelyn. It says, Jocelyn, hit him with it. I'm choking, I'm, I got some and I'm around, I'm getting all the So Grandma, she starts saying prayers, and she starts reading the Bible, and, you know, I start calming down again, and then out of nowhere, Joshua! Now, Joshua, I don't know, you know I love you, but you took a couple of liberties with those things. She tagged me about four times with this Bible, and the last thing my grandmother gave me was her PTO Bible, right? and um, it's one of the best things that I've gotten, and I will cherish it and cherish the time that I've had with her. I will cherish it always, and there were two things that she loved. She loved her family, and she loved the Lord, and she wants her family to stay strong together, because there's a couple things that happen that sometimes in these times of stress, you separate, you, you, you quarrel, mm -hmm. but that's not what Grandma wanted. She's up there enjoying her mansion right now. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible yeah. says, yeah. mansions, many mansions, and I know she probably got a real nice one up there right now. Oh, yeah. And then one thing that she, when she looks down here and sees us, she's going to want her family mm -hmm. to be united. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I got. Thank you. Amen. Yeah.